going on and welcome back. So we are out here in the shop again today. I'm going to work on Project Stepchild. If you have seen my last couple videos on this car, you know that I have done some serious damage to the rear. Uh, namely, broke the rear differential mounting bolts. So today is the day, man. Today is the day that we get out here and start tearing out the cradle yes the entire cradle is coming out of the car <sighs> a lot of work i believe it's gonna be but i'd rather have the cradle everything in front of me rather than try and doing everything on my back underneath the car all that stuff so we may have to have the cradle out anyway for some you know good strong reinforcing parts Namely, maybe some cradle bushings in the aluminum version. Haven't decided yet. I'm going to look into that. Um, there's a lot of different things I can do to the rear to beef it up. So, going to look at a lot of things. But first things first, get the cradle out and uh, get the axles pulled, pull the drive shaft, and um, you know, get a time scheduled to take this stuff to DSS and have them take a look at it. But anyway, this isn't going to be like a time lapse or step by step on how to remove the cradle uh, but i will as always you know highlight different things and you know maybe some issues or some you know good to know things that i come across you know as this goes so anyway i'm gonna get started and then i'll hit some highlights as i go first things first got to get the wheels off and get the drive shaft pulled so i'm gonna work on that and um i'll be back to you all right, so I've been busy, man. Got this thing actually pulled out. Got the rear cradle, not on the ground. It's on a jack stand, a jack, and the transmission jack. Um, I wasn't quite sure how it would come out and if it would come out, you know, level or which end was heavier, you know, front or back or how it would come out. But anyway, we got it out. So let me turn the camera around. Let me show you, give you a rundown of what we had to do and uh, show you what the cradle looks like. All right, so first shot in here, man, it is empty. This is insane, actually. It's pretty wild looking. There's like nothing back here now. Crazy. But anyway, I wanted to show you. Basically in here, all we did was um, disconnected the shock mount up here with these two bolts. We disconnected that. Just took the uh, calipers, tied them up. I went ahead and broke loose the half shaft nut that's on the spindle out here spindle or whatever you want to call it the nut that holds the half shaft to the hub uh, went ahead and loosened that up then took the brakes off hung them up there and then there's a couple of wires you got to get out of the way um, unplug the plug and there's a vent on the rear end and disconnect the drive shaft right there and that's pretty much about it and then you can lower the cradle down so let me show you the cradle all right so here is the cradle it is sitting on the jack jack stand over there and transmission jack right there spring over here spring somewhere over there laying over there but that is it let me give you a closer look of actually what happened here this is where those two bolts broke. They go into those bushings right there, which you can see if I bring it around, it would screw into the differential housing there. And there, this is actually the cover, the cover for the differential. So that's what broke. So the front ones are good. They're still intact, but I got to take the whole differential out. And um, that way I can try to get those bolts out the front because they are threaded in there, what's broke off. Uh, and then we're going to go through some other stuff. Got to get those half shafts out and uh, get them sent off. Let's see if I can get you a, a little bit better look at the half shafts, the damage to them. And this one, as you can see, that boot is all kind of twisted up in there. Um, yeah, they don't look too good. And then this one over here, the boot is just all kind of busted up 
Um, I think that's the clamp, but it's covered in grease, so you really can't tell. <clears throat> but other than that, I mean, is I think it, you know, it could be just the boots, the outer, or the the shaft in that boot. You know, I mean, it it stayed intact, so I don't, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Once I get these axles out, I'll be able to peek in there, and um, you know. See if there's any more damage, but while we've got it out, there's some other bushings that can be replaced. I've got a centering kit, that's what this is here. Normally this bushing isn't in there. So stock, you've got a wide open hole that your bolt goes up through, <clears throat> which is kind of crazy, but this is the Steeda, um, I think they call it the rear cradle, rear cradle alignment kit. So it's like a Delrin material. Some of that's kind of chewed up there. Huh, interesting. But they also make, you know, solid bushings. <clears throat> so I may go solid bushings there. There's one there, up there, up there, and then that one there. So I may go, go solid bushings there. Um, on the, uh, I think I can get a bushing or bearing for that, as well as that one in there, I think, and then I don't know, I'm gonna have to look and see what all is available. Um, but like I've said before, when this goes back in the car, I don't want anything left out. Like, everything needs to be covered, solid, spherical bearing, solid bushing, whatever it takes, to where this doesn't happen again. Cause this is kind of a pain in the butt to pull this out. But uh, let me show you where the drive shaft hit. I do wanna show you that. All right, so underneath here, this is where the drive shaft was hitting. Now I'm gonna have to inspect this cover. You know, I don't know if it went through there or not. Um, it possibly could have. Possibly, possibly not, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna inspect this really well because if it went through, see this is a shield here. And then you've got the tank. If you can see, this is a shield and this is a tank. So this shield covers all the way underneath it, all the way around. And as long as it didn't go through the shield part, then I'm okay with it. Um, and then I'll see if I can get, you know, some kind of heat shielding or something to replace this, maybe peel this off and put something new up there. But we shall see. Um, it's hard to tell. The shield is pretty thick, but I can't tell really where the the plastic is because this this is still fibrous here I'm gonna have to tear into this and see so man, it's really hard to tell I'm probably gonna have to peel all this stuff off and, and really get a look at it to see if anything is messed up but anyway and then the drive shaft there's that uh that kind of groove in it there that was actually done by the parking brake cable bracket that bracket you can actually see the aluminum that it scraped off of there it's still hanging on the the bracket but that's what caused the damage to the drive shaft and then these other little marks on there I think we're from that heat shielding there. That ain't a big deal. But I'm really hoping that drive shaft, even though it's not that deep of a groove, I'm really hoping that it's okay. I don't know. I'll let DSS make the call on that one. But yeah, I'm gonna have to tear into this and, and see what's going on there. But that's what the drive shaft did. Well, let me get out from underneath here and uh, see what else we can talk about. But there we go, man, the, uh, the cradle is out. Drive shaft hanging down. I'm gonna start tearing this apart and uh, you know, see how far I can get today. I probably won't get it all torn apart. Um, it's kind of getting a little bit later in the afternoon and man, it is smoking hot out here. So I know I don't wanna be out here all day, that's for sure. But I'm gonna try to see how far I can get. I at least wanna get the axles out and maybe we can take a look at those and uh, I can show you those. We'll go over it and then we'll close this one out. But uh, yeah, let me see how far I get, and um, we'll talk again real soon. All right, so I'm about done for today, man. It is hot out here, sweating my butt off, but uh, 
I do want to show you, you know, what I found out, the other things I found out. So let me get this camera turned around and I will show you some pretty interesting stuff. All right, first of all, I've got a huge mess out here. I mean, this, this whole rear end is just laying around, torn apart now. But, check them out, I got the axles out. Got the hubs off, whatever you want to call them. There's a diff sitting over there. Man, stuff everywhere. But, let me show you, uh, first let me show you the axles. I do want to show you those, because those are what are damaged. Um, I probably won't even go into these and try to try to look at them, but it looks like now this one, the boot was actually cut right there where the uh, clamp goes. Um, there may be a little buildup of metal on that in that groove right there. Um, that's where the lip on the boot sits, the inner lip on the boot, and that's how it seals. So. I'm gonna let DSS take a look at that, but as far as inside, it doesn't look like it got to anything, so I think that should be fine. I mean, I really can't tell, it's just grease everywhere. Now this one over here, man, that boot got chewed now. Boot got chewed, it looks like it, I think it was twisted, but it just kind of split this boot. I don't think it really got anything inside, so. That's good, but other than that, I mean, the axles look pretty good. I mean, had anesthesia on the spline, so they come out nice and easy. No problems there. Um, pop them out of the uh, differential. Not an issue there. But let me show you this. This is, these are the bolts that were on in the front bushing of the differential. The differential mount front bushings but on the rear side let me get you in closer on those bad boys yep and things are bent up pretty good so it was kind of a pain to get those out of there being bent like that but we got them out no issues there but yeah that's that's the problem there so bent those sheared the the rear rear ones and oh my goodness and this little insert kit garbage 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 unless you got better bolts apparently or something I don't know but I don't, I, I'm not too happy with it especially the way those inserts sit inside the stock bushings I don't like it those get deformed let me see if I can find the front ones I don't even know where I put them here we go here's one of them but look at this and look at how it deforms and then you can see those little indentations there, that's where it sit against the uh, factory bushing. But, I mean, look at how it's deformed. Eh. Garbage. Get out of here. But, let me show you the differential. And here you go. There's the broke off bolts. It is going to be a good time drilling those out. Let me tell you. I'm going to have too much fun. Drilling that out. Actually, it's gonna suck pretty bad. I'm not really looking forward to it. But you can see where the diff dropped. The marks up top right there. But I think it's okay. I mean, it's just a little scrapey scrape. Should be all right. <clears throat> and man, we got quite the mess. <laughs> we got this thing torn apart. But that's gonna do it for this one, man. I got a lot done today. I mean, got the whole rear suspension, cradle torn out of the car uh the half shafts out you know the uh the hubs off all that stuff man made some major progress today so that's good um so now the plan is to call dss i gotta call dss um it's gonna be on monday today saturday i'm gonna take a few pictures i've already got a few I'm gonna send them to them if they want them or whatever, but I'm gonna call them and set up a date to drive up there and drop this stuff off. Let them check it out, you know, whatever it takes for them to check it out. Just make sure they're good. I'm concerned about the drive shaft because the groove is a little bit deeper than I thought it was. 
Um, but I'm going to let them decide that. Hopefully I don't need another one because, <laughs> oh, they're not cheap. But anyway, so that's the plan there. And then in the meantime, I am going to be doing a lot of research on this rear cradle and how I can make it solid as a damn rock because I don't want to go through this again. I really don't want to go this, through this again. That would not be good. One time is enough. One time is too much. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. So, so far, as long as the half shafts are good, maybe the drive shafts are good. We're looking at having to get boots put on the half shafts and, you know, maybe the drive shaft rebalanced. Hopefully it's still good. I really hope it's good because mm, I don't want to buy another one. But anyway, so we're not looking too bad right now, but I don't know what, um, I don't know what upgrades are going to cost me. And these bushings, from what I understand, getting them out of the cradle, they're going to be a pain to get out. So I'm not sure what to do there, but I'm going to figure out something to get in there. Anyway, I'm going to get inside and catch some AC, man. It is hot out here. I've been sweating all day. And I'm done, man. I'm done with this for today. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Let's see what we get done with this car. Let's see how long it takes me to get this stuff done and back in the car. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit. We'll see you on the next one.